spread. Here's how the spread works. It starts in a one, two, two. You can start on either side, so you have a little more flexibility. You know, you can start on either side. Now, you can decide where you want your players to go. If you want to keep your center home, you can do that. You can set it up any way you want to. Let's say you want to keep your big guy on the block. Um, well, you're not going to be able to stay on the block. We're going to have to go this side. And you can stay right there. Okay. So we, we choose to come down this side. We're just, we're just going to screen down, pop out to get us started. And then the screener is going to go to the corner. You're okay. Go ahead, throw it to her. Okay, screen is going to go to the corner. Now, over here, we did the screen down. Same thing. She's screening. Hold on. She's screening for you. Okay, and you're going to curl through to the block. Okay. And so what we've done, we've, we've formed our triangle. Okay, we formed our triangle. The only way we're throwing the ball right there is if she's open to score. We're not going to throw it in if somebody's standing behind her. Okay, so really, we're right back in our triangle set, and then we're going to screen down just to get a little bit of motion. Okay. So from here, really, it's the same thing that we, we've done before. We could throw it to the corner and run the corner pass play. We could throw it to the post and we could run the post feed, but that was the one thing that I didn't want them to do. Or we could come up here and we could run all that two-man game stuff. But what we decided we were going to do is get a little bit of motion first and then come back to the triangle. So this is the spread. This is how it worked for us. All right, when the ball comes to the point, first thing is a pass and cut. Okay, so you're looking for the ball all the way down and through the lane. If you have a kid that's good on the block, they can kind of back their way down and look in there, but we're not going to clog up the middle. So we're going to keep on going through to the wing. We're going to pass it to the wing, and then we're going to run a flex cut. Okay, so really good cut. You have the opportunity to fade if you want to, or you can come right through to the block. Now we're going to look to post up right here. Okay, but we're posting up to score. We're not posting up so we can run our screens on the perimeter. We're just looking to score. This is a whole different look. And then we're going to screen down. And now it's the exact same thing, OK? Pass, pass and cut, throw it to the wing, flex cut, screen down. Pass and cut, throw it to the wing, flex cut, screen down. Good. Pass and cut, throw it to the wing, flex cut, down screen. Good. Pass and cut, look at the pass and cut. Flex cut, down screen. Good. Pass and cut, stay in the corner. Come through, good. Down screen. Pass, pass and cut. Flex cut, down screen. Good. Okay, what we're trying to get out of this, okay, let's say we throw it back here. If we don't get the pass and cut, okay, we don't get the pass and cut, she's going to take her through. Now when we run the, our flex cut, and you know, if it's guard to guard, they may switch. You may get a, a layup in here. If you have your good shooter out here, she may be able to fade. The key to the flex, though, is when the ball reverses. That's, when, that's the key to moving in the flex. So when the ball's at the top, we only have pass and cut going on. We're looking for one thing. That's it. And you're still looking for the ball. When we make the pass to the wing, now we're working. Now the ball's over here. And you're working. And maybe your man did, did a great job jumping to the ball. Maybe she's a great man-to-man -man defender, and they don't like that 2-3 zone. So she came all the way in here, and you fade back for three. We're going to rescreen, and we're going to run right into the screen as we skip it for three. So you, gotta, you have to really work this. You can't, you can't have them just running through the spots. You've got to really look. This, the ball's at the top. Okay, so you're, you're in your denial. You're doing a great job. The ball reverses. You get off. You jump to the ball. Okay, you jump all the way in the lane. Because you're a really, really good help defense player. OK, and then we're just going to turn back around and skip it for three. OK, so we tell them to rescreen. If they start to learn the offense better than you do, which happens sometimes, that's when you